another up close video. Today's one is for the beautiful beveled star box from um, Tonic and it's part of their Christmas in July slash birthday week kind of celebrations. They're sort of doing birthday week but a few of them are Christmassy so it's kind of like Christmas in July as well. Um, and this one creates, as the name suggests, a beautiful beveled star box but it can also create a, a flat top star box as well or if you don't want to use it as a box I think if you make two of the beveled ones, or even just one of the beveled ones, if it's going to be against a flat surface, but two of them back to back would look absolutely gorgeous as a large like Christmas decoration to sort of hang in your window. Or if you just did the flat version, they could even be um, like maybe centerpieces or kind of like scatterings to add amongst um, a kind of selection of decorations across a table or something but I think it would be absolutely brilliant just using the portion that is supposed to sit on top of the lid of the box. Um, I'll go through the die set first and then I'll show you um, what the die set actually creates and as well as um, the main sort of die sets and stuff for the um, birthday week they're also sort of teaming them up with a few different bundles of craft perfect and nouveau products as well so i've done uh used uh one box has been done with one bundle and then one box has been done with another bundle plus i've also used a lot of the nouveau items from the other bundle to make a couple of cards as well and use some of the die cut pieces on there too and obviously if you already have a lot of stuff in your stash then uh, I'll be telling you the names of everything so you can just go through your stash, find all of those pieces and use the same kind of bundle or if you want to get hold of them they will be linked in the description uh, below the video um, if you see the title of the video there'll be like a tiny bit of writing and then it'll say like show more or see more if you click that then you'll be able to see the full list of all of the things listed um, or used in the video, all of the affiliate links down there and there's also a link to my blog post as well so you can click on that and go over to the blog and see picture links for everything and I will link the bundles there as well so I'm presuming they'll be at a really good um, you know value kind of price so if you want to stock up on anything or you haven't got a lot of uh, Nouveau or Craft Perfect and you really love a colour scheme from one of the bundles then you can go and get that as well but let's get back to the beautiful beveled star box um, and you can see it's got a fantastic six pointed star in here which just by itself just creating some Christmas decorations just with that beautiful star or maybe creating some easel cards with this star or just shape cards in general a giant gift tag to go on a large present or something as well um, just having these beautiful six pointed star shapes are fantastic and you have um, the largest outside edge you then have another um, edge as well which is just a tiny little bit smaller and this actually works as the base and the lid of the box but cut those two together you'll have a gorgeous skinny little frame and out of mirror card that would look absolutely fantastic just to like decorate the edge piece of a large one of these if you're doing it for something else then you also have next one down that fits inside the second one you've got this beautiful um, like square sort of dotted detail I like how they join here actually you haven't got some sort of um like only got one in that area, they've actually just sort of made the two of them join together. Um, you could like thread twine up and down this, you could use um, beading thread and put beads along this as well, like actually weave the beads into it too to make it look really fancy, um, or you can just have it as that cut out detail and you'll see the colour from underneath as well. And then in the centre of that you also have another six pointed star, and then you have the decorative detail to go inside that as well. Um, I think this would look fantastic just as a topper on cards, and I have used it on one card as well. Um, you could use a couple of them. You could just use maybe three of these, put them all over a background and snip bits off and add them back on to create an overall background pattern. Um, these could be, again, like scattered sort of elements. Or if you're making them into just sort of like flat decorative hanging pieces to maybe do some kind of garland or bunting or something for Christmas, or any occasion occasion that could go with a star actually um, this would make a lovely small version as well you can have a large version and a small version and then right in the very center you also have that final little star to go on there which also acts as a lovely um, topper point to the beveled version of the star um, because you're kind of working with cardstock and stuff I mean it did look quite neat actually without the star on top but if you get to the finished product and you think oh gosh that middle section looks really ugly where all of the points are joining together and I didn't quite fold it really precisely or anything that little star goes on the top of the box and completely covers that up and on mine I've actually built like a whole foliage element on there as well so those are all of like the main star decorative pieces but if you go back to these larger ones the largest one 
which actually has the cutting edge on the inside of the metal is the one that you use for the lid and for the lid of the box whether you're making the flat topped box or the beveled star box as well uses these as the sides so this goes round one point of your star so you'll need six of these um, to create one lid and I actually use two of these to create one lid as well and in the instructions inside your packaging that you should get with yours um, you'll have the full instructions of exactly how many pieces you need to cut and how it all goes together as well but two of these and they've really cleverly designed it so that the glue tabs when you fold them over they don't like overlap at this point making it bulky they fold over absolutely perfectly and when you put them together whether you're doing the base of the box or the top of the box I recommend my technique of covering not necessarily the entire thing but going around all of these um, edges with red liner tape and then putting your glue tabs on onto one of these stars and then you put the other star on top to hide any of the adhesive and the glue tabs. I think it's much easier than trying to uh, put adhesive on here and cut it down at these angles. If you just lay pieces on and overlap them over the edge and then snip them off afterwards, I think it's just so much easier to do it that way. And I have shown that a few times in construction videos and stuff as well. But So for the lid of the box, it's the largest big star and this small piece that creates the lid portion. And then for the base of the box is the next star in, so the one that has the cutting edge on the outside of the metal. And then it is this piece that creates the edges of the bottom of the box. So the box is roughly an inch deep, so mm, just under an inch and a quarter I'd say, so about three centimetres deep the little box. And then the lid sort of uh, sinks down over the top of it, hence why I use the larger star for the lid of the box. Um, and also when you are doing the beveled lid of the box you're actually using this small star as a base to put all of the beveled pieces on and when I got to that point on mine that's when I thought ah this would make a really good decoration uh, whether you just keep it one-sided or you do it two-sided and to create that beveled portion of the box you're going with the small the smaller of the two large stars, so the one with the cutting edge on the outside, and then you're also taking six of this piece, and this is what creates the beautiful beveled star. I'll just quickly show you what that looks like, but it looks like this. It looks like a gorgeous jeweled star, really pretty, absolutely gorgeous. I think these are going to make fantastic decorations if you don't want to use them as a box, because I know not everybody needs. Uh, hundreds of different gift boxes um, but I think decoration wise this top portion will just be fantastic whether you do it with the flat back or you put two of them together and it's really not that difficult to put together you have um, these portions here so the way you put it together you take all six of these and you line them up so you glue this glue tab over here on the next one all the way around so you've got six of them and then uh, obviously pre-fold everything before you start so everything's easy to manipulate then you take your um, second largest star with the uh, cut edge on the outside and then this goes over the top and this sort of pops up with the bevel and these two pieces tuck round and underneath and stick on the bottom of that and you end up with a complete um, beveled star that's just separate from your box and then you would stick this piece onto the top of the box to decorate it but just doing this portion maybe uh, putting a ribbon or some twine in between and then just sticking another solid star on the back of it or doing a whole nother beveled star on the back I think it's going to look absolutely brilliant for um gorgeous decorations to hang in the windows and stuff as well you could even die cut some of these details into it and add some of those fairy lights inside and make it accessible to be able to switch it on and off with the little battery pack as well so loads of different ways of um you know adapting that so it's not just a box it can definitely be a decoration then you do actually have um, two ways of kind of hanging it. I didn't actually use either of them, either of them on mine, but you've actually got this um, looped kind of portion that you can... Um, I think it tells you actually how to stick this inside and it shows you sort of sticking one side to the lid and one side to the box so that it can hang as an entire piece. Um, so you've got that portion and you also have this piece here which sticks either side of a point I think and then you have two of them and you could hang them together I think. I'm not 100% sure unless you use this as like a locking mechanism for the box maybe so that the uh, lid and the base stay together but it does tell you how to use those in the instructions as well. I just got carried away with decorating mine and completely 
you forgot to use them but you do have those two pieces there to be able to do that although this piece would probably be very useful as a little hanging tab for something you can just stick it up to that score line on something and use that little slit as a hanging piece and this one I'm thinking it might possibly be good for some kind of interactive card as well. You could cut that as an aperture in your card and then you'd have more space for like an element to spin around and then slide down a track and spin around the other end again. So that could be something um, like a different die that's useful for another kind of technique for a card as well. Then, um, decoration wise, you actually have three different decorations that you can use for the beveled star box. And obviously, the flat top star box, you just use all of those layers that I'd already shown you for the six pointed stars. But for the beveled one, you have both outside edges for either side of the point. So, the great thing is, even though there's 12 sections to decorate because it's six pointed and each one has two pieces, because they're the opposite handedness of each other, you're still only running it through six times. So it's a bit less sort of um, die cut in that way, a bit less uh, runs through your machine because you can cut two of them at once because they're different handedness of each other. And then you have three different patterns that will fit inside. So you have this gorgeous stripy one, which I really like. And I like the way it's got this like flat bit at the bottom. It kind of makes um, the pattern sort of be less sort of going into the creases of the star which I actually really like that I wasn't sure why they'd done it to begin with but it does actually look really good on the finished boxes so you've got this stripy design then you've also got this beautiful swirly design as well so really really pretty detailed swirly kind of design you can see how nicely they'd look next to each other or if you're going for a quirky design then you could definitely mix and match them. There's nothing to say they have to be the same either side of that uh, ridge on the beveled portions. You can put different ones either side as well. And then you also have this beautiful one with like a star design in there and a few swirls as well, but really, really pretty designs. And they're all symmetrical, so they'll look perfect, you know, either side of the um, that ridge point on the bevel as well. Then... You also have two different panels for decorating the sides of the bottom of the box, which is the deep portion. This one already has its cutting edge and it actually matches that last design that I just showed you. It's got that gorgeous like star design in there as well and it's already got the cutting edge on which is fantastic you don't have to faff around with a cutting edge on that and it means that because it has the cutting edge on the detail is larger like normally when you have them like this you have a flat portion around the edge where the metal of the outside edge is and you can see when you'd cut it out you'd have this flat bit but with this one that's already got the detail um sorry the cutting edge on the detail you get that detail right out to the edges which is nice but these are actually the same size so if you want to back this one you've got the the plain outside edge but you can also use that plain outside edge with the other decoration as well which in itself looks like a beveled star the way it's got the the little ridge portions going down each of the points of the six pointed star as well then you also have two tiny little decorative panels for decorating around the edge of the lid as well so you've got a solid one and then you've also got this sort of slatted one and you can use them both together or you can use one or the other as well, depending what kind of look you're going for. Or if you decide last minute and you've run out of time, you don't want to do any more die cutting, you can just cut um, strips of cardstock and like fold them around each point of the star, which I did on one of mine um, as well. And it looks just fine like that too. And then you have a little gift tag that says for you and it debosses the for you and it'll emboss that little star in the center and it looks fantastic from uh, mirror card or satin mirror card as well then you have five decorative little elements left in here too so these ones are really pretty sorry complete with dog hair now dog hair gets everywhere from pumpkin um, but you've got five gorgeous decorative pieces you've got a gorgeous little swirl a cluster of three berries a cluster of two holly leaves to go with those three berries this gorgeous uh, foliage piece as well and then this sort of like pine branch too that's got two portions to it as well and these ones work really nicely going along with the um like the pointedness of the star these can kind of like nestle into the two points of the star which is really nice and i'll show you that on uh, the clustery designs that i've done on my boxes as well so i'll put all of these away and then i'll come back and show you the samples that i've done 
So the first one of my samples is the beveled star box and I made this one using what I am calling the uh, minty Christmas bundle. If it's changed its name then it will still be linked below and if you go on my blog you'll see the pictures of it. Um, but I think it's going to be called the minty Christmas bundle and it's absolutely gorgeous the like selection of pinks and greens that they've put together and I've tried to use like pretty much all of the Nouveau on here. The only thing I didn't manage to use was the Gilding Flakes but I've used I think every single cardstock and all all the other three pieces of Nouveau I've managed to use to create this gorgeous box and I just absolutely adore this beveled star that's on the top. I think if you can only get one die set from this um, birthday week kind of release go for this one I really really love this one I think it's absolutely gorgeous and I think because it's a star it doesn't have to just be Christmas it could be uh, just you're a star or you know like a well done kind of a thing you know sort of giving someone a gold star you know you could make it sort of funny as well but yeah I really really like this one I think it's absolutely fantastic and you have the gorgeous lid and the box as well I've also on this one used a lot of the Nouveau drops around the edge of the box and I've used um, silver satin mirror card and the gloss uh, well like shiny mirror card as well um, and all of the Nouveau drops just alternating them all the way around as well and I've used fuchsia pink cardstock for the base for the lid I did add in white to this bundle and I used white to create the whole lid portion and I thought because this is a pink and green bundle I alternated the pink and green around the points of the star and it gives it a different look because it kind of like makes you see triangles oops makes you see like two triangles in there rather than just seeing it as a star which I think is really lovely and then I've nestled in the holly this gorgeous sprig there's swirls hiding under here this gorgeous like pine as well and you can see here how the holly leaves how they like nestle across the points of the stars I've kind of used three of them and put them so there's a holly leaf pointing up each um, point of the star as well and I've just tucked the for you sentiment in there as well cut with the satin mirror card and you can see how well that embosses that's just the satin mirror card run through with the die there's no like extra shimming to make it deboss in there better that's just uh, just cutting it through and then I've also put Nouveau drops as the holly berries and stuff on the top as well so this collection or bundle to go with um, the beveled star well you can use it with any of the uh, die sets from this month or any Christmassy ones if you want a funkier Christmas colour palette but this one includes um, six packets of cardstock we've got the textured fuchsia cardstock we've got chrome silver frosted silver emerald green water sprite iridescent cardstock and pink chiffon which is also one of the satins as well as the frosted silver um, so you've got a gorgeous selection of cardstocks or if you don't want to get the bundle and you already have a vast supply of uh, craft perfect and nouveau then you can go and look for your stash and find all of these ones so that's the textured fuchsia the chrome silver, the frosted silver, the emerald green, the water sprite and the pink chiffon and then for the Nouveau elements for part of this bundle um, it is the spring green Nouveau embellishment mousse the red berry and the bubblegum blush Nouveau drops both with a gloss finish and then also the silver bullion um, gilding flakes as well that go with this whole sort of colour collection and I've used everything except the gilding flakes on this one and this is the uh, side of the box here I wanted to bring the mousse in and I hadn't used it anywhere so I actually just used my palette knife to scrape some mousse onto the sides of the box and then to bring in that dark green down here again as well um, this is where I just trimmed on my paper trim on my guillotine about five millimetres width sort of strips of the emerald green mirror card and then I just placed them around the point and snipped off the excess and so it goes from the inner point so you've got a nice curve on the outside point and then it goes back into the other inner point as well and then that goes all the way around the box and I just really loved the look of that and I mean just look at that just imagine that that doesn't have this lip on it or maybe um, you do put maybe you put another one of these on the other side of this so it has a flat bit in the middle then it would actually stand and be like two dimensional or th sorry three dimensional as well I mean it might even no because I've put those decorations on the front it's quite front heavy but if you had another one on the back I reckon it probably would stand up by itself as well but isn't that just absolutely gorgeous I just really love the way that's turned out. If I have any time this year, I'm going to be making some of these um, for my Christmas tree or just Christmas decoration in general. I think they'd look lovely like um, hanging from the banisters down the stairs or something. 
especially if they were just one-sided then they'd sort of like sit flush against the banister and just hang and look really pretty but absolutely gorgeous it's got quite a decent weight to it as well with all of those cardstock layers in there too but I just absolutely love how that turned out um so really really pretty this one and that is that minty Christmas Then the other uh, colour sort of bundle that I had to work with for this, I don't know the name, it was just labelled as Gold Green Aqua Snow, so I'm not sure if that's still what it's going to be called, but it's got, um, I'll just run through all of the stuff first on this one, it's got a selection of specialty cardstocks in it, so they're all specialty, no textured ones, three different pearlescents in the pearl white, the majestic gold, um, the blue frost, and then you've also got Snowbound, which has got that gorgeous um, texture on it, sorry, I think you can mostly just see the reflection of my camera but you can kind of pick up that really like scratchy sort of texture that's in this cardstock it's absolutely gorgeous this one I'll try and show you an up close of one of the die cuts cut out with this as well but that's the selection of cardstock then there's also a couple of Nouveau drops in here as well there's the uh, morning dew which dries clear and then there's also the caramel cream which is a metallic finish really really pretty this one I did use I didn't use the Morning Dew actually, but I did use the Caramel Cream in one of my backgrounds. Then you've also got the Sea Sprite Glacier Paste. Absolutely gorgeous, this one. I'm still on my original pot of this that came out, uh, so whenever this came out, however many years ago, it's still nice and fresh. So Glacier Paste does seem to stand the test of time, um, you know, with having air exposed to it as well, which is nice to know. Um, and then we've also got um, a normal embellishment mousse. There's two normal embellishment mousses. This one is Sea Spray Green, and then there is also uh, Mother of Pearl as well, which is kind of like a yellowy sort of colour, and then this gorgeous deep dark green. This one's really good um, if you're trying to do like a rusty effect onto copper. This Sea Spray Green looks fantastic for that kind of thing. And then we've also got an expanding mousse, which is the worn linen colour, so the gorgeous white worn linen colour. And um, I didn't actually use any of the Nouveau on my box because I'd kind of gone to town on the other one with using some of the Nouveau products. But I've done two extra cards to kind of show you a couple of ways of using some of your mousses and drops together to create backgrounds as well. But you can definitely apply those to um, your box too. So this is the other version of the box. This is the flat topped box. So if I bring this one back in, both boxes have the same amount of space inside of them because this is just that beveled star stuck on the top of this kind of box. Um, but this one just has a higher profile because of that beveled star on the top. So if you want to you know, still house the same gift or the same amount of like chocolates or something in here, but you want to make it, um, you know, I don't know, easier to sort of pack up or take up less space or maybe be less to post, um, the flat top box is kind of like the better option because it's not as high as the other box. So the beveled star one probably makes it double the height, so like six centimetres or, you know, two to three inches tall, whereas the flat top box doesn't make it much taller than the actual box itself. Um, and this one, I I love this colour scheme. That um, blue frost with the majestic gold and the white pearlescent and also the snowbound, these holly leaves here, I think you can just kind of see that texture that's on the snowbound one and it's kind of like a white pearlescent with that gorgeous texture and it kind of has like flashes of green in it which is why it goes so well with this colour scheme but they just die cut out so nicely from the pearlescent cardstock. I just absolutely love using the pearlescent and actually using all pearlescent. I did bring white cardstock into this to cut the base of the box but everything else is done with the gorgeous pearlescent colours and it just looks so luxurious and gorgeous and um, I wanted to be able to use that full star on this one but I also wanted to bring in lots of that stunning foliage as well so I decided to just sort of like tuck it underneath and you can see how like this um, pine sprig kind of like has that gorgeous angle to it so it works really nicely going along the edge of one of the star points and pointing out a little bit in the other direction and how the holly leaves work really nicely but you can cut them individually as well or having the little pair works really nicely with the corners on there too and just tucking them all in you've got the swirls you've got the gorgeous branch and cutting them all from the different colours as well and mixing them all together I just think it looks absolutely gorgeous and because this is layering up behind this um, 
pearlescent white one that's the sort of main larger detail with that um, you can see actually that double piece there it looks really nice cut out um, I've actually used the majestic gold but I also cut the backing piece from this star from that same piece of majestic gold so it looks like you've used maybe like a whole sheet of majestic gold but you've actually only used as much as the larger star and then you've put the other piece you've, you've used the die in the centre of it to cut it out and then put that behind there so you can actually when you're layering up like this you can like sort of gut the middle out with one of the dies and use it for a, um, a further up the top kind of a layer as well and then I kept this one like really nice and elegant so all around the edges it's the blue frost with both detail pieces so it's got the detail on top of the solid and then I wanted to bring that gold round as well so I just took all of these layered pieces stuck them onto a piece of the majestic gold and then just used my scissors to trim around them and it just adds that little trim of gold around the edge I mean if you wanted to you probably could find a die in your stash from one of the other hundreds of tonic boxes or um, you know different dimensional die sets and find a little rectangle like that that's maybe supposed to cut a sentiment out or something um, but I just find you know just using your long bladed pair of scissors works really nicely for trimming them out as well and it just adds that extra pop of colour around the edge and then on the bottom of the box I did the same kind of thing I cut the main panels though from the pearlescent white backed them onto the die cut of the majestic gold and then stuck that onto the blue frost and did a little trimmed edge on it as well and you can see the difference between this patterned panel having its own cut edge and this one here um, the way you have to have the cut edge separately and then the detail inside you can see just how much more pattern you get for the side panels of the box which I really love I really like that that you get more pattern in the space rather than it being sort of like a flat bit and then the pattern you've just got edge to edge pattern in that piece so I love that they've given you the two kind of options for that as well so that is the flat topped box that I created using that gold green aqua snow kind of um, colour bundle of Craft Perfect and Nuvo and then I really wanted to show you how to use some of the Nuvo as well so I just did a couple of quick cards so this first one is using that uh, sea spray is that the right name yeah sea spray green I just scraped the mousse onto the background and then bef even before it was dry, I didn't bother waiting for it to dry, I took some of the Sea Sprite uh, Glacier Paste and just scraped some of that over the top as well. And then you've got this gorgeous, sparkly, shiny kind of effect on here. It just looks so lovely having those two layered together. And it kind of gives like um, an aged wood or something, like a maybe like um, an enchanted sort of tree or something sort of like ripped bark on a tree but in beautiful sparkly kind of tones I just really loved how that turned out um, and I had lots of the foliage left over from doing um, the box like tucking all of these pieces in so I've got some from white I've got some swirls in here I've got ones cut from the water sprite mainly um, and then I've also for the sentiment this is the sentiments that came out with the Santa and Friends if you bought Santa and Friends which was the Santa the Reindeer and the Snowman there was a set of um, like tag dies that went with it that had stamps as well um, and this is one of those uh, sentiments from the tag die I really love that joy circle and I've used the water sprite behind that as well and I've just layered two of them together with the water sprite behind and it looks really pretty sorry if you can hear pumpkin barking I think uh, next door's dog <laughs> set her off but really really gorgeous and then the final one that I did, I wanted to show how to use a couple of mousses along with the Nouveau Drops as well. So this is the Mother of Pearl scraped onto the background first. Then I put some of the Worn Linen uh, Expanding Mousse on. And then I took some of the um, Caramel, what's it called? Caramel Cream Metallic Nouveau Drop onto the spatula as well and scraped that on too. And then... Uh, some of the Nouveau Drop overlapped some of the expanding mousse and I've still just heated it to get the expanding mousse to expand but in some areas it's also sort of expanded underneath the Nouveau Drops as well and given a really cool effect on there so really really gorgeous and look, look at the different finishes between the mousse, the expanding mousse and the metallic drop as well gives a really lovely finish and then that's just using that central star um, as like a main sort of topper on here and then the sentiment on this one is quite an old one it was like a taller die set with a few different gift tags in there that came out with uh, I think it was like Christmas icons and possibly the Christmas staggered stage like two to three years ago but really gorgeous little sentiment as well but obviously you can use any kind of sentiment too 
So I really hope you enjoyed this video looking at the beautiful beveled star gift box from Tonic's uh, birthday week slash Christmas in July kind of celebrations and I hope you enjoyed actually um, seeing projects made with like specific bundles of products that um, Nouveau do. I think it's a really lovely idea to be able to you know supply you with a bundle that's like a gorgeous colour scheme that will work really nicely for different projects as well and then you like instantly have everything there or if you don't want to get the bundle you've instantly got like a list of everything that will work really nicely together that you can go and pick out of your stash as well which I think is really nice so I really hope you enjoyed the video hope you like the samples that I created as well and I hope you're enjoying um, all of the birthday week celebrations I'm not sure when this one's going up I don't want to sort of specify an order because whenever I do they end up changing it um, but I'm not sure uh, when in the week this one's going up but I hope you've been enjoying them if there has already been some videos as well so thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in the next video